Hey guys, what's up? This is the Excel Sales Trend Dashboard, and in this dashboard, I've got a few different things going on. And the first thing that I have actually set up is a sales trend chart over on the left hand side. You'll see the total monthly sales trend, and that automatically gets calculated, as you can see there, um, based on the data that we upload to our sales tab. Over on the right hand side of that chart, you'll see that I've included the highest monthly sales and then the corresponding month, as well as the lowest monthly sales uh, and the, co uh, the corresponding month. So you'll see that these values are also included on the graph. It makes it a little bit easier to see when we show it to the right. Up on top, if we have more than 12 months of data in our sales tab included here, based on all of the data uh, that is consumed and created or uploaded to the dashboard. Uh, this will actually update accordingly to say if there's more than 12 months of data, you're going to see a big red X here and I can show you how that's going to happen really quickly here. So if we go down to the bottom of our dashboard or of our data set and add a new line, we'll just copy the line above it. And I'll just put in a value that's very, very high so you can see how this dashboard actually works. And we'll put in today's date, which is November, for example. Or let's do something in October just to keep it consistent because I don't have any in data for the month of October as of yet. So if I go 05, October 2015, that'll update. So if we go over to our dashboard now, you'll see that now that we have more than 12 months of data that you've got a red X up here showing that yes, we do have more than 12 months of data. And also you've noticed that the highest monthly sales is updated to be the 900,000. The lowest monthly sales sales is still actually staying down at that 400, uh, 546K on February uh, 2015. So the reason why I've kind of limited and, and I'm putting in this validation is because we don't really wanna show more than 12 months of data. And it's also gonna tell you that in this in this chart with that validation that I've set up. Over on the right hand side, I've included a detailed sales area which you can go into, select a month, and it's gonna give you the total sales for that month, um, which is basically included over on the right hand side as well, or the left hand side as well. Uh, but it's also gonna show you who the best customer was uh, based on the total sales for that month, and then also who the worst customer was too. So if we select the month of June 2015, for example, you'll see that we have customer five at 110K and we have a little pie chart to show that the 110 divided by the uh, 574K is what's gonna give us the total percentage and that's where that chart's based off of. So it's uh, that percentage of the total sales. And then as for the customer three, who is the lowest sales for that month, uh, you'll also see that that has a chart included as well. If we were to go to the newest data set that I just added for October, 2015, you'll see that we have no customers other than customer four set up and he's made the most sales obviously at the entire uh, sales month showing for 900k he made all of the sales and that's showing up as a pie chart of 100 percent and then below again you'll see that there are uh, multiple customers have sold zero essentially so that's why that's showing that way that's about all for this dashboard i think that it's definitely something that is useful for those of you who are uh, in the sales areas or are executives or managers if you have any questions feel free to leave comments below and uh, check out the video at gumroad.com on the link that i have provided we'll see you next time